Let me introduce you to Dago 7. Interesting things are said and they quote on record. And recently, such an event happened with Elon Musk there, and he was asked a series. He said he was asked a series of question. Artificial intelligence. And they, they stated that when he was asked this question about AI, he basically went off into a, a whole other world, stating that. She said artificial intelligence is more dangerous than nukes. And Dabu 7 is reporting this. But I read this in this book last night. And I saw this video this morning. And this book on artificial intelligence is called The Coming of Ten. The coming of ten, and artificial intelligence is in chapter thirteen. Full details of what happens with artificial intelligence in control. This is Okwa Tangent One. He's one of the beings that Riley are good friends with. And this is the author of the book. This is the author of this book, Riley Martin. So now we have Elon Musk discussing about artificial intelligence. And he knows that if it in the wrong hands of the God of control. But this has been written over 20 years ago by Riley Martin. Riley Martin is a, an American, poor American black man with a native Indian mix. And that's him. And in his book, these are symbols that he draw from a collection that was implanted in his head 144,000 and I got one that's mine as I do this video the book is not all about symbols but it has a number of chapters and these are all his drawings did a number of drawings here You can visit him at uh, RileyMartin.com or TheComingOfTan.com uh, Description of Biave with his moons. And these are some more drawings here of uh, his the different species and their cities and how they live and type of craft and ships that they use is the V-wings and the saucers and and this here is the rejuvenator. My buddy is is so on to this that I believe one day he might really heal himself. I visited him last night and he's working on sounds. Amazing. Vibrations and sounds and lights cure sickness and brings health too. And here is how you make, uh, you know, human parts for your body. Here you have the octopi, the agenimum, super intelligent. And here of course is, uh, you know, the great beast we know as Bigfoot Yeti. And these are, this is a pilot, travel long distance, you know, hyper speed into, don't have to worry about eat or drink. And this is a, a robotic doctor. 
men in black on this side and here you have one of Riley with his encounters and this is his one of his best friend spend most of his time this creature talks to him boy it's fun to read about him these are some of the females hybrid this is one of the, the old Biavians on the planet this is a Biavian female she kinda look cute don't she she not scary nope is an insect highly intelligent the Neptunian they, uh, they love water the Dorians they got a serious look on a way about them he said not much close contact but they did and these are highly intelligent Stargian scientists and these scientists according to it in their planet they live they are very poor they still look like the Omish people with buggies and stuff like that the old traditional way uh, this guy here super intelligent is called a Targisian and the Targs if they had their way they would just eliminate the human race because they see us as rodent we just destroy everything that we come across even our own species we try to dis you know eliminate each other but because of Tan in charge and because of their law governing planetary systems they're not allowed to do that but they would assist us in whatever way they can it's all in this book written by Riley S. Martin and he designed all these symbols you can get your own symbol from Riley visit RileyMartin.com and get this book and read it and what he talks about artificial intelligence would blow your mind plus other things different species different universes the type of vehicles what you can understand how you communicate with your mind and I love my symbol I just love my symbol beautiful piece of work all watercolors with his famous writing that he would put on it for you how he describe you but Dabu 7 doing a good job man keep up the good work just like Elon Musk you know still have good minds and good people around you never know when things would change and let's hope that is for the better but those that hold the powers that want to destroy the species of human because of certain races it will not allow to happen and uh, before it happened there are those who would just be taken out of here and then the rest would remain to totally perish and destroy themselves so I'm signing off